If this weren't so serious, the minister's play on words would be entirely laughable. To suggest that the government's amendment is simply some linguistic, small textual changes to our motion is, as I say, laughable but also inexcusable. The Sinn Féin motion, Can Corla, calls very clearly on government to make a declaration of intention that it will join the South African case against Israel under the Genocide Convention. The government amendment includes the word consider before that demand. It is the equivalent of changing do to do not. It completely undoes the purpose of this men and, and motion and therefore I am urging this House to reject the government amendment. I'm urging all those members of government who have joined with us in condemning the brutal Israeli attacks on innocent Palestinian men, women and children to um, sh vote according to their beliefs when we come before this House tomorrow night. Just think about what happened last Friday. To call it a game changer doesn't even begin to outline the magnitude of what the International Court of Justice determined because they had options before them. They could have, as Israel had wished, dismissed the South African charges. But instead, the members of the court, the highest court in the world, charged with upholding international humanitarian law and overseeing the Genocide Convention, said that Israel, Israel it has a plausible case to answer. In other words, it is plausible that Israel is committing genocide. Now, the bar of being plausible is high. How ashamed would any citizen of any country be that their government was accused of plausibly committing genocide? We have a view that this goes beyond a plausible case, but at the end of the day, the ICJ will make a final declaration. But a state that is currently before the International Court of Justice, have that court having decided that it is a plausible case for genocide to answer for, is also a state that enjoys the most beneficial trading, diplomatic and economic relationship with the most powerful entities in the world, including the United States and, to our shame, the European Union. So the question that has to be asked is, how do you bring a state from plausibly committing genocide to stopping? Stopping their acts of terror, stopping the bombardment of hospitals, of schools, of refugee camps and of an entire civilian population. Stopping the displacement of two million people and allowing the most basic of humanitarian assistance to reach a civilian population that are undergoing a humanitarian catastrophe, the likes of which we have hardly seen in our lifetimes. How do you stop? You do something to force them to stop. And we have been crying out, recognising that the world of Irish government ministers are much stronger than many other ministers across the, across the world, but also recognising that words will not be enough in this instance. Words have to be matched by actions. Our appeal, our appeal to all the members of this House is to take this action. This action which simply involves us following the very brave leadership of South Africa by making and joining the case um, against Israel. I urge members of this House to reject the government amendment and to support the Sinn Féin motion. Here, here.